What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. We're in an Arch Linux VM and I want to show you how to get KDE 6 at this moment in time for you guys to be able to test. Okay? We are going to have to add a repo and doing that is very easy. Oh my god, it's glitching. I honestly don't think hardware acceleration is fully enabled with this at the moment, but we're going to do this anyway, okay? Now. Wow, can you just like go full screen? Thanks. We're going to just make this as big as possible. We're going to do sudo nano. No, we're not going to do sudo nano, are we? No, I don't think so. Let's make this easy on you. Let's do gedit instead and do pacman dot com hit tab to autocomplete enter your password and we're going to also supersize this if we can so is there a view no there's not so there's no way to supersize this which is stuck which is just not you know ideal but anyway um above core testing we're gonna add a repo I don't know if I can exactly add this in. Ah, I can. Good. So this is what it's going to look like. KDE. Unstable. Include. Yada, yada, yada. So I'm going to leave this here. I'm also going to edit this in on the lower right hand side of the screen in big bold letters. As you see it here inside the Pacman.p list. We also need to go down to extra testing. And uncomment that that's what that's called and we're going to hit save once that's done we're going to clear sudo pacman dash s y s y my bad and then as you can see kde unstable is at the top and if you watched any of my previous videos you know that means it takes priority so if i do sudo pacman dash capital s why you this should try to grab kde6 now start hitting yes and yes again and yes again and yes again hit enter enter and yes this will install kde6 so if you already have kde installed it's just going to upgrade to kde6 now for what i know kde is currently on beta 1 and it's not stable yet but I would like if a few more people tested it and reported bugs and issues and things like this so that it could get to that stable state so that when it is released, it's not as awful as KDE 5 is right now because I want it to perform well. I want it to run well. I want it to have uh, the least amount of bugs imaginable. I want KDE 6 to be an actual upgrade to KDE 5, which it's not at the moment. It's not. So if you're willing to do testing and run this thing daily and report bugs, I applaud you. We're going to log out. Yes, it's this simple, by the way. It is definitely the simple to just upgrade to KDE 6 on Arch. That's why I love Arch. We're going to hit enter. We're going to log in. And welcome to the KDE 6 beta 1. How cool is that? Huh? Look, the bar is all floaty now. We hit enter mode. You'll see that the new thing is down here. Um, let's turn this to translucent. And uh, set position to top. Huh? That's cool, right? Welcome to KDE 6, everybody. Just a quick video on how to get it installed and how to get it working so that you can get to testing it and enjoying it. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share the video, do all that good stuff so that you can help me out with the YouTube algorithm, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.